Okay, it's also not, it's so nice to see you in Venus in this gay pride. And why are you here? Well, it's great to be here again. I was here in 2010 when we were taken. There were 400 of us taken to the river far out of the city center, guarded by a lot of police. And then I was here in 2013, and we were marching from the center. We had some eggs thrown at us, but the police was reacting very well. And now we're here again, and it looks so great. And I'm here to support, together with Daniela Viotti, the co-president of the LGBT Group, together lead the intergroup in the European Parliament. And I am vice president of the European Parliament. And we want to show our support because under this flag, we lesbians and gays are protected. Protected against discrimination, protected against hate speech and hate crimes. And this is so important in a country where so many people still don't understand what the freedom to love, who you fall in love with, means. That's why we are here as openly lesbian and openly gay politicians, telling everyone, look, it's about falling in love. It's something of the most beautiful things you can have in life. And if you want to spend your life together, this is a very traditional and you could say conservative value, where people who want to share their lives together want to be together. And that also applies for lesbians and gays. So that's why we are here to support the freedom and also the freedom of assembly that Lithuania fought for, like Estonia and like uh, Lithuania and Latvia years ago from the Soviet Empire. So it's great to be here to celebrate this freedom of assembly and freedom of expression as well. What is the main challenge uh, 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 that uh, EU faced now? The main challenges are that some member states would like to leave, that some don't want to not to create an ever stronger union, but sort of get a, a lesser union. And uh, that is also important to show also like to UK people that it's important to support lesbians and gays like uh, the UK Embassy is doing here. And hopefully they'll stay in and we and can create a Europe that is stronger, stronger on human rights, also economically, that's important. Uh, but we need human rights and the economy, both together. As for economy, uh, Britain pays 60 billion pounds per year to uh, European Union. So, um, they, it, it has a lot of expenses. What is your argument to stay with the EU? Because simply they get more of the money back than they pay in. Because they get lots of uh, the whole economy. I mean, most of the industrialists, most of the financial center in London, they don't want the UK to leave because they know it's about money. It's the economy, stupid. Somebody once said. So also economically speaking, Britain is better off inside the UK, and I hope people will vote in favor of that. Uh, would you tell some words about your experience uh, with the uh, Russian politicians? Well, my work in foreign affairs is mostly with the Balkans and with Southern Caucasus and other, other countries in Latin America, so I don't have that much contact with Russian politicians. But of course there it's also a question of how to make them understand what European values mean and why it's so important to also defend human rights, uh, also in Russia. Uh, I think that's my main message very often to them, that democracy is simply also about accepting criticism and living with, uh, with people who criticize you. I myself come from civil society, I'm now an MEP, and I get some criticism sometimes from civil society. It's not nice, I don't like it always, but that's what democracy is about. You have to debate about differences and not just say they shouldn't exist. That's what the message is. And can you criticize EU as well? Of course I do, very often I do. We have to work right now. Thank you. So.